Close your eyes. The, the staircase of disbelief. So we're going to tie here nihilism to flat earth, right? If you consider the ability for people, this is what you're talking about, the ability for people to grapple with very controversial parapolitical ideas or with, with hugely alternative perspectives on, let's say, historical events, uh, globalist politics, um, metaphysical ideas, just this, this sense that the great holographic illusions of reality must be encountered if you want to know what's going on. And there's, there's different levels of that. And for me, a useful thing to do is place things within a sort of classification system of elevating incongruity, right? Elevating astonishment. Higher and higher levels of mind-bending improbabilities, right? So in my work with individuals, which is like 90% of what I do, we call this funny idea the staircase of disbelief, right? And let me just explain what that is because it's dead simple. Imagine a staircase that stretches up into the sky, into the clouds, right? And low down on that staircase are certain, certain subject matters where you can take a step on it, a little step. Let's take an easy one. JFK was not assassinated by Lee Harvey Oswald, right? So let's say that's step one. So that's a conspiracy that is kind of obvious. And anyone who's just looked at that for two seconds thinks, well, he can't have done. It didn't happen like that. There's something else that went on, right? Okay, well done. You've just taken your first step on the staircase, right? So you've got your foot on the first stair. You're on it, right? Let's take another one. Easy one. WMDs. Iraq did not have weapons of mass destruction capable of reaching England or America in 2003, which was used as the justification for an invasion of a sovereign nation. Weapons of mad, mass deception is what was used. That's right, weapons of mass de de deception. Weapons of mass destruction were not real, and, and Tony Blair and George Bush lied. And people who exposed that deceitfulness were assassinated, like Robin Cook, the British MP. He exposed that lie, and they killed him. Let's say that's step two, right? <laughs> you see where I'm going with this, yeah? Sure. Um, and, and you're on the steps, and there's other ones. We could go through a, a bunch, but let's say you get the idea. Low down on the staircase, there's some slightly unbelievable ideas, but nevertheless, they are true. And once you've taken a few steps up there, you then start to get the idea that the world is not your way, the way you thought it was. And then you get, let's say, midway on the staircase, 9-11. 9-11 was not due to 19 Arab hijackers. First and foremost, because many of them have turned up alive. Fact. Go and check that out. So it, right from the start, it wasn't. And then we meet, and you and I have spoken to this woman, Judy Wood, and people like that, who have got a clear thinking head on the shoulders, who are not swayed by nonsense, not pushed by trends and popular themes, not threatened, who tells us, that's a, there's a serious problem on that day. That's a big one. That's kind of midway up the, the staircase, that 9-11. And it's, as you know, Mel, it's a big one, that. It's a world changer for people. So that's that's a classic, what I would call in the old days, Stargate event. Once you've moved through that Stargate of that, you know, one or two years personal study, things are never the same again, right? So let's say that's midway on the staircase. And, what, and the next stair... Mass shootings are often faked. So easy to see and prove that. So easy. But you see, now, if you haven't ascended the previous stairs, you can't believe that. You cannot believe the idea that um, the US and UK governments operating under instructions from global empire routinely murder children and women and men to advance gun restrictions aggressive mental health care policy and a sort of, you know, increasing dependence on the state. That's unbelievable if you're not already gone up the staircase. Are you, are you with me? Oh, certainly. Right? Whereas if you have walked up some of those stairs, prior stairs, you think, well, I can imagine that, to be honest. I'll need to take a look. I'm not just going to believe it willy-nilly, just because Mel said it, but I'm going to listen to what the evidence is provided with all these different guests that talk about shootings and psyops and whatnot and I'm going to check it out and it really isn't very difficult to be a quality researcher it's really not you need to train yourself you need to develop discernment it takes a while but it's not hard it really isn't that hard and when you look at it 
you see the staggering problems, particularly all the doctored photographs in Sandy Hook. Big giveaway, big, big, big giveaway. Um, another one on, that's on the midway point. The media is not fair and never has been. Never, 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 never has been. Once you start to grasp the magnitude of empire, that's, that's not too difficult to get to that, right? And then you get to another one. This is a tough one for some people because we're, we're midway. We're getting higher on the staircase now. Is it possible that we conceive of a situation where all kinds of organizations like the United Nations and the Bank of England and Black Lives Matter and Antifa, anti-fascism, Occupy, Campaign for Nuclear Disarmament, Women's March, is it possible that those groups are actually bad? That they appear to be grassroots uprisings of people wanting equity and justice? Of course. No, 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 wrong. That's not what they are. They've not arisen organically and they do not represent reality. They are conditioning beacons and they suck in the unwary and empty them out. They sort of amplify unreality only um, only to create this extended, extended movie, this long play movie that goes on and on and on and on. And on. Fake polarizations, always fermenting division, always exploiting the weakest members of society, people with nothing, who don't have a chance to sit back and educate themselves, who don't have a chance in hell of that. They have no idea. They are the foot soldiers of those groups. Oh, wow. Really? So all that anti-fascism stuff and all those good people who think that that's all garbage. That's right. That's garbage. All of it. All garbage. That's, that's a tough place to be. If you can stomach that, then you get further up, let's say the top part of the staircase. World War II is almost the exact reverse situation as we've been taught in the timeline. Almost the exact reverse of everything. Who the Allied powers are, who the Axis powers are, it's almost back to front. World War II is, is one of the biggest psyops that you've ever seen in your life because of the extended period of time for it. The Holocaust, millions of Jews. Did millions of Jews die as part of a organized final solution in gassings did that happen or did it not and then you come to other things that are more impersonal the sun and the moon they're not far away they're not what we think they are before the sun and the moon let me just mention this if that is true the holocaust did exist then why is it that the deaths that happened in the former soviet union which were it, 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 it dwarfs what happened in, totally in, in, in Poland yeah. and Austria and yep. in all those countries, Germany. Why is that not publicized as much as the others? Right, exactly. That's part of like 100 things to look at about World War II. That's like number 58. Absolutely. You're absolutely right. Really important, but do you see what I'm saying here, Mel? Because you've already taken many steps up the staircase, I can walk into your living room and say, hey, how about that Holocaust? And you're like, I know, it's crazy. I wonder what the situation is. There's so many question marks. You can do that in two seconds because you've already walked up the staircase. Even if you've only just heard that bit for the first time, stair 78 for the first time. Yeah, but don't go to Europe to question that because you'll go to jail. You'll go to jail because people in Europe are not allowed on the staircase. They're not allowed on it at all. If I go down to the local coffee shop here, in my uh, little town um, in in, uh, in Washington State and start talking about that so I think the police would arrive and they'd take me off in a truck you know and think well that's some sort of racial hatred thing what on earth are you talking about you anti-semite racist xenophobic bigot right. white privileged bastard what on earth are you talking about no you, you wouldn't do it because we know that no one's gone up that staircase nobody's done it you go up further the earth is not a sphere. The sun and the moon are not what you think they are. Same size, not far away. There is no gravity. Humans are ensouled children of divine source. And right at the top of the staircase, God is real and loves you. That's the hardest one for anyone to fucking believe. The hardest one. Even stupid religious people don't really accept that in the heart. They have a different version of it. That staircase, that staircase of disbelief is what allows one person to examine a thing 
and another person not to examine a thing. You forget, Mel, and I say this tongue-in-cheek, you forget how far you've already come up that staircase over the last 15 years. You forget how many steps you've taken and yet what giant cataclysmic paradigm shifts you've had in your own private mind, in your own heart, in your own thoughts, personally in your life, with yourself, with your family, with your friends, with your business, with the audience, with this, with everything. We forget how far we've come. And just for a second, you stop and you look down, you realize you're at the top of the staircase. You're right there thinking, anything's possible. Stair 100. Anything is possible. People who have, there's many people walking around who may have taken one step or two steps or no steps. You cannot go midway or high up on the staircase and just say, hey, what about World War II? Apparently, Hitler was a real nice guy. You can't do that. You can't do that because it doesn't work. And what parapolitical researchers forget is the entire existence of these building blocks of ontological considerations, of considerations of what is real, epistemological considerations. How do we know what is real? How can we understand the scope of truthfulness? What does that even mean? Walking up that staircase in our own private studies answers that for us in very personal, meaningful ways. So like I say, I can walk into a somebody's living room in this audience pick a random guy a random woman and we can dive right into stair number 72 right into stair number 97 and they'll be like wow it's, it's incredible i don't know if it's true it could be garbage but i am prepared to look at it and i don't have any investment i don't have any problem looking at these issues and i'm not in the least racist or anti-semi of course that would be stupid megally stupid hugely hugely stupid it doesn't even go on the radar however in mainstream society there is no staircase of disbelief it doesn't exist all of that stuff is untrue every single last minute of it and there is a lot of people walking around who don't even want to take the first step they don't want to know and here's why if you text take step number one lee harvey oswald did not kill jfk you have to go to step 100 You have to go all the way up to step 100 in due course. And deep inside, everyone knows that. And they don't want to take that journey because it's hard. It's hard. It's ugly. Blood will be spilt. People will be lost. People will disappear. People will laugh at you. People will um, take business away from you. People will mock you. People may even lock you up. So most people, they just... They hover the foot over that first stair, you know, when you're just about to stand on a stair. And they think, you know what? If I take this first step in due course, in the fullness of time, I might have to go all the way to the top. Flat Earth. God. (laughs) I don't know whether I can do that. I don't even know whether I want to go there. And again, I emphasize this point. Every single stair is a question mark. It's not whether this is the case or not. That's a very personal decision. We don't need to objectively agree on anything here. It's a personal journey, a personal staircase. All they are are question marks. Flat Earth, there's a lot of big important questions there. Really, really important questions. Anyone who writes that off needs the brain examining. They need to go back and get the crayons out and start again. Your eyes. Hey man, you ever looking to flatter? But this is a NASA technical manual. MIT, the Army Research Laboratory, flying over a flat, non-rotating Earth. Flat Earth with a flat Earth assumption. Non-rotating flat Earth. A flat, non-rotating Earth may be assumed. A flat and non-rotating, assuming a flat Earth. Flat, non-rotating Earth. Earth, a non-rotating Earth. Flat, non-rotating Earth. Validity of flat Earth based on a flat Earth assumption for a flat Earth and a flat atmosphere. Flat, non-rotating Earth. The flat Earth model. Propagation of electromagnetic fields over flat Earth. Ballistic vehicle motion. A closed form solution is developed for the motion of a ballistic vehicle entering the atmosphere over a flat, non-rotating Earth. Is, I mean, do we take Genesis 1 literally or not? This is 
this is the ridiculous level we have come to. And you think about it. If NASA and the space agencies, if they didn't exist, if there were no alleged moon landings or Mars rover or alleged pictures from space, would we believe that we live on a spinning, flying ball? Is that what we see? Is that what we experience? Is that what we look at? No. Men would come, Paul said, and change the truth of God into a lie. They changed it into God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness He called night. A lot of us were huge into uh, science fiction. It could fill a library with all the science fiction that I read over the years. I actually grew up being a sci-fi kid. That's Quick. a sci-fi book collection. I used to be a massive sci-fi nerd. I bought into all this stuff. I love Star Wars. It was hard to become a flat earther. Everyone has the same story. Yeah, we all were globe earthers in case you didn't know. I was violently opposed to it. I was mad at people that would bring it up. A friend of mine was posting all these things on Facebook. It was pissing me off. There's no fucking way the Earth is flat. These people still exist. How can anyone think the Earth is flat? That's fucking insane. Flat Earth? Like, that makes no sense. Like, then how does stuff not fall off the side? I stopped atheist for about 15 years. I used to be an atheist up until 2015 when I mockingly began researching Flat Earth. I was an atheist 39 years. What the fuck? <laughs> what about all these satellites they're claiming that are going up to space? Where are the waves going from your cell phone? Everybody that's into Flat Earth, it was very hard for them to get into it and admit it. I was already had this thought of, you know, what it was, a globe, and what right. they told us. Everyone has the same story. When I first heard about Flat Earth, I thought it was the dumbest shit. Ever. I thought it was a CIA PSYOP. It must be some kind of distraction. God, this is a fucking nightmare. I can't be a flat earth person. Exact same story. Everybody. No one just believes it right away. So when my dad decided to change to be into a flat earther, I took that as a challenge and I tried to prove him wrong. But in order to prove him wrong, I had to know what the actual argument for the Flat Earth was. I had a brother that was trying to convince me about Flat Earth, and I actually set out to prove him wrong. So I had to dive into a bunch of rabbit holes. What is wrong with the world? Why is the world going absolutely crazy? Land that Flat Earth just laughed it off. You know, okay, this is completely crazy. A month, I looked into it anyway, and I uh, thought I'll oh, get a good laugh. The only problem with the Flat Earth, uh rabbit hole, whatever you want to call it, is it's kind of hard to beat. I'm 57 years into believing that the, world, the Earth is round. Started going into the research and boom. The Flat Earthers, I mean, they have a lot of good compelling shit to say. <laughs> oh, fucking stupid. Unbelievable. Like, like, how the fuck are we supposed to handle all of this? There's nothing compares. Nothing compares to the whole quote unquote flat earth research uh, rabbit hole. Got a lot more to it than I think people would first assume. Uh, look into it like uh, like you're investigating it. Just look into both sides. There's a reason why it's becoming huge. There's a reason. I have to question my own world view and my own uh, belief system and thinking Flat Earth was stupid, which is where most of us start out at. Um, yeah, I never would have assumed I would have become a Flat Earther. So you have to realize that all these people that do, they have to literally be convinced against their own belief system and their own world view to get to the point that they're at now. Okay, there's no way that it's a ball. And like so many others, I ask myself, what else are they lying about? And it turns out the answer is everything. I came to the realization that we've been lied to, that the Earth was in fact a flat stationary plane and not a spinning water ball. That opened up the possibility of a creator, which in turn shattered my atheism. My trust in the Bible was restored where I before didn't have any faith why I trust the Bible when you couldn't even trust page one. Now I could trust page one. God damn it! The Earth is clearly not a fucking spinning ball. 
Wait. Wait. Why does it all make sense? And then I got interested in what does the Bible actually say? Oh, if, if it was right about that already from the start, maybe it's right about the other parts also regarding the endings. Turned out, yes, it was. Gave my life to Christ in uh, 2016. And uh, yeah, uh, didn't look back. Why is this all fake? Official NASA website releasing footage that's, that's CGI. Maybe really this is lost knowledge maybe maybe it truly is lost knowledge what humans are what our planet is and what 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 this is all about there's nothing more <laughs> mind-blowing than realizing yeah. that we're we've been lied to the point where we don't even know where we are i can't i can't think of any other experience topping that this can't this can't be reality even like the so-called smartest people in the world We'll all be like, these flat earthers are retarded, you know? You know, no one with a brain believes anything about the flat earth. It's absurd. It's just, it's just ridiculous. It's absolutely, they know nothing about science. And I don't want to get mad at them. It's just that, it's, it, they, it's just, it's ridiculous. Plus, flat earthers know that once a person says that, they're basically just admitting that they haven't even, they either haven't even bothered to look, or they're not smart enough to understand that the math doesn't add up. One of the two, one of the two things. Um... The world is just so filled with lies, it's uh, actually quite sickening and disturbing. It turns out the world is run by a bunch of Satan-loving liars who have us so bamboozled that we don't even know where we are. And it turns out that we've been living in their science fiction. You see, when you tell a story that begins with something exploding out of nothing, out of a gajillion years and a whole lot of chance, you don't need God for that story to make sense. In fact, you have to do some disingenuous gymnastics to write God into that story. But if you see that we're really living in something like a cosmic terrarium, you can't avoid the conclusion that we're in somebody's terrarium. Try to write God out of that story, I dare you. The level of deception that has fooled multiple generations into believing that we're on a spinning water ball in a vacuum, when everything in our experience screams the opposite. That level of deception demands that we confront the existence of evil because that's what their science fiction is, and that's its purpose. Would they construct such a massive lie for no reason? No way. This massive lie has an equally massive purpose from beginning to end. It's the very foundation of the scientific worldview that aims to make God irrelevant. And I built the farm that it plays a critical role in the great deception in the times ahead. I'd heard the gospel, I grew up in the Bible Belt, but I could not reconcile that worldview but the one that I'd already implicitly accepted, which told me that the world is a meaningless accident. At the end of the day, I think the inherent cynicism of the heliocentric universe that exploded from nothing is fundamentally incompatible with the gospel of Jesus. I believe we are very carefully, intentionally, and lovingly placed in a world that is not just some random piece of a vast creation, but it's the very heart of creation itself. And so I pray that you reject the lie that would have you believe otherwise. I've been lied to so much by my government, by the education system. I don't trust any of it. I don't trust any of it, quite frankly. It's all fake and gay. Guarantee you, NASA is lying to us. Yeah, it's the truth. It's, it's the, the truth. truth. And, yeah. and it sets yeah. you free. I've never seen a former flat earther. Nobody's ever seen what the actual shape of the earth is. And then been like, you know what? Neil deGrasse Tyson really does give me a good argument because it's literally ridiculous. Once you go flat, you never go back. We've seen both. Like, we know your model better than you guys. And not everybody can be a robot polisher. Listen, all I'm saying is if they you tell me after I get my degree, after all of that trouble I had in so many of these classes, man. If they tell me the earth is flat. That after all that, I will never forgive them. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> been four years okay that's four years of my life right there i'll go on the record right now if i find out a week from now that the earth is flat and this has all been a lie okay i'll have a major crisis in terms of what else could be fixed oh yeah i mean it would be a i would be a it would be a big coming to jesus moment for sure like Oh yeah. <laughs> like, what? For me, it it, uh, it would change everything that I understand about the universe, um, and it would be a humongous upheaval in my existential existence. So you know, if I imagine myself already being there, then yeah, you know, all of history, all of everything, like 
What else could be a lie? I'd rather be thought as a moron for not trusting criminals than a fucking sellout and a traitor for defending them. No, 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 I'm overdue. I'm really in a stew. No time to say goodbye. Hello, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. My, what a peculiar place to have a party. Oh. You know, Dinah, we really shouldn't <coughs> be doing this. After all, we haven't been invited, and curiosity often leads to trouble. Oh, 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 oh. What if I should fall right through the center of the earth and come out the other side where people walk upside down? Oh, but that's silly. Nobody... Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh Mr. Rabbit, wait! What if I should fall right through the center of the earth? And come out the other side where people walk upside down. Oh, but that's silly. Oh, but that's silly. Oh, but that's silly. What does that mean? It means buckle your seatbelt, Dorothy, because Kansas is going bye bye. <laughs> accepts what he sees because he is expecting to wake up. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? That you are a slave. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage, born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch.
You ever looking to flatter? This world is not what you think it is. This world is not what you think it is. 